when you're in Chongqing, you have to hot pot. But how do you even start to decide where to eat when there's a hot pot restaurant on literally every street corner and sometimes even below them? Well, tonight I'm taking you to a very special location where we can combine two of my favorite things, history and hot pot. Now, it may not look like much from out here, but once you get inside, you'll see why I want to take you. This restaurant was repurposed from an old wartime air raid shelter, one of many that popped up in the 30s and 40s when China was under attack from Japan. But as to where hot pot comes from, there is one myth I've heard more than any in Chongqing. The poor people in Chongqing would collect the leftovers and innards left by rich people, take them home to stew them for dinner. But stewed innards themselves don't taste that good, so they put lots of condiments and flavours in and spice which grows quite locally. And so, hot pot was born. How many seconds should I leave it in? Ten seconds. One, two, three, four. My knife has got bright red. It's on fire. And this is like the least spicy one as well. I'm a wuss. All of these air raid shelters created almost an underground city in Chongqing. Many of them were repurposed, like the hot pot restaurants, or into mechanics, wine cellars, or bars. And I'm going to take you to quite a famous one. And it's very funky. far back this air raid shelter goes. And although you can still tell it's an air raid shelter, compared to the hot pot restaurant, it's completely different. It's modern, there's Western music on, there's draft beer on tap, and I think it just goes to show how diverse Chongqing has become. Cheers. <laughs>